a question that I see uh, over and over around cybersecurity. Um, and I think I'll start this off um, with Arun, if you can sort of, you know, this idea of cybersecurity, people being like, well, if we build with no code, is is it cyber secure? Like, are we in any at any risk of being of being hacked? Um, what's your answer to, to them? So I, I think it, it's it's definitely secure. I'll put that with the caveat of everyone at any scale is at uh, at a risk of being hacked. Whether you know you're a brand new you know one one person company or you're you know a giant Google or something like that, um, there are always risks of being hacked. But I think uh, what, what's really great about using a no code tool is that a lot of us have thought about these problems. So if you build an app by so prior to this, I, I used to be an Android developer, and I you know I'd build an app from scratch. There was no one using it, so I didn't worry too much about security concerns. And then as things, you know, as it started getting, as my app started getting used more, I, I had more concerns. Versus with any of, you know, these no code tools, you start off, and for example, any data that you you send over over a network is encrypted, right? Like that's something that we just have built in, as as many of these tools do. Why? Because it's important. It's you know, it's a basic thing that you need to have, and that's just you know a very simple example. But as you dig into it, we spend a lot of time making sure our data is secure, making sure our apps are secure, making sure that our infrastructure and our backend is secure because we're not just protecting you know, one app, we're protecting millions of apps. And so we need to make sure that they're all taken care of. And so I think this is kind of one of those power and numbers type of thing. Building with a no code platform like Thunkable means that you can guarantee that you're gonna have a lot of security built in from the get go without even needing to think about it. Versus if you build it by yourself, you're going to need to build each and every piece of it. And I think that's one of the things that's really excited about using a, using a no code tool is you can actually just get the power of the community behind you. Because if you think about the way we operate, we think about all of our users, all of our apps, all of our products at once needing to be you know equally secure and equally supported. And so that I think is one of the most powerful and exciting things about no code is actually having the security built in out of the box because you know it matters to us, which means it's automatically there for you. Yeah, I love that. I think that that's like really a great answer to, to this question in saying that if you're a small team and you're trying to build the first version of your app and your developers, you're probably not gonna be spending a lot of time and energy on cybersecurity because at this point, you're really just trying to get a very bare bones MVP out. Uh, so when you build with, with platforms like Bubble, like Thunkable and like many others, I think um, like Stacker, et cetera, uh, I think that basically um, you do get to leverage the efforts that, that you have all put in um, with regard to like penetration tests, which I'm sure you're, you're doing on a regular basis to make sure that it is more cyber secure than uh, two developers in a room trying to develop the first solution. Um, are, is there any other input around um, this issue of, of, um, of cyber security? Yeah, I guess the one thing I will add is, um, so first of all, Arun is really right. Like when you build on top of platforms that do this seriously, they're going to take care of a lot of those problems for you. What I would add, so for Bubble, you know, we have this concept of, you know, privacy rules where, you know, people have to define who can see what data, uh, they define what kind of data, uh, what kind of people should see what kind of data. What I want to tell people is it's exactly the same as if you are using code. Like opposing code and no code is not on, on that one is not actually relevant. If you're not careful with writing code, you might expose some data, which has nothing to do with the platform you're using. It's more of a business logic here, you know, to give an actual example, like maybe you want to build a, a marketplace where only the seller can see feedback and no, it's not public. I don't know if you want to do that, but that's the kind of thing that you could think about. It's a business decision. Um, and so if you don't do that, then someone could hack it and get reviews, right? This is exactly the same whether you're writing code or using a no-code platform. So even though, uh, while I encourage people to really think carefully about those things when they build their product, like it's important as soon as you start having some users, don't have a per-platform uh, mindset when you think about those things because all platforms basically will lead to the same problems you will need to solve yourself.